Hey YouTube, this is SickleMania97 here with another video update of my Red Sea Max 34. Um, today there's going to be some big changes. I, my Oceanic BioCube protein skimmer came in about a week early, which is great. I've been noticing, even from just having the sand and the invertebrates in there, there was a lot of buildup and stuff floating around. So uh, hopefully this will help. Um, I got it partially set up right here it's got the lime wood aerator air, air stone sorry in there uh, I've got the two suction cups on not really anything hard to do but it's a little hard just doing the left hand so I skipped out on that for the video um, right here is the collection cup you just put it on and you just put it on the top and then turn it up to the front there's a little groove uh, like I said, I'm not a lefty, so, and then it locks in place. Um, in the box here, it's the pump. I got this off of Amazon, so uh, it is a little bit different than the picture. Um, it is the same general product, but the tube is a little different. Uh, here, I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Uh, so you guys can still see that. Uh, um, I'm not, I know this is the air control valve, and this is the chuck valve, but this is actually stuff that's supposed to be built in. So uh, I'll have to cut the tube. Uh, this is the tube here. Probably... Mm, eight feet or so, seven, eight feet of airline tubing. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it up a little bit just for this. Um, I got the digital thermometer by Core Life, and then I've got 15 pounds of live rock I've got sitting in a bucket right now. Um, so I'm going to set this up. I'm not going to plug it in for right now. I want to get the live rock going, but uh, I'll show you how I'm going to set this up. Uh, Right here I got my uh, Bass Pro filleting knife. It's a very sharp blade, so it'll be able to cut through this very well. Uh, I'm going to have the check valve closer to the top, so it'll be about, I'm going to have it about here. Cut that. Uh, just simply stick it into the airline tubing. Or let me check here. I think that's the right way. We'll have to see in a second. Uh, Okay, there's the check valve all set up. Uh, in a second, I'll put the air control valve up. I'm gonna take, you can twist this part off, which makes installing the air tube a little easier because you can push down on the limestone or lime wood, sorry, um, air stone. Um, I guess this stuff needs to be replaced pretty often, like once a month or so. It gets, once it gets plug, plugged up, it does not do anything. So, uh, I'm going to hook that up to the air, uh, the air pump, make sure the check valve is going the right way, and then uh, I'll show you guys the rest of this stuff. Let's see here, uh, okay, yep, it is going the right way, so, uh, I'll show the final install of that in a little bit, uh, I got the live rock, the thermometer, I'm gonna open up the live rock right now, uh, where's my knife, here it is, uh, I'm just gonna cut the bags, I would not recommend doing this with one hand, Uh, it's not exactly the greatest way of doing this, but, uh, yeah. 
bring it up here. Okay, uh, so, uh, sorry for the awkward camera shooting, but, uh, it's not exactly a one-man job, especially if you only have one hand. Actually, here, I'm going to open this up on the ground, and I'm going to set the camera. Uh, I'm going to prop it up on the protein skimmer box. So you guys can still see what's going on here a bit. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay, uh... It's all wrapped up in paper and soaking and it's nasty. But uh there's some couple smaller pieces in here. And there's a couple large pieces. As you guys can see, there's a good uh coralline algae growth all over this except for right here. But uh I'm gonna throw that in the bucket. Uh here's another one of the smaller pieces. This has got good algae growth all all the way around it, mostly on this side, but it's pretty pretty good. Uh, let's see what else is in this one. Here's one of the flatter pieces I got. It's one of the shelf pieces. Uh, this one doesn't have the most growth on it. But it's got some nice kind of flatter piece. It'll be a good place for some coral. So, uh, yeah. Let's throw this back in here. Trying to be a little more uh, gentle with this because there is some water in here and I don't want to spill it all over my floor. Uh, I think these are the two bigger pieces. Uh, yeah. Um, soaking wet paper towel, or not, um, newspapers. A little messy, so I'm going to have to rinse this with some salt water. Um, as you can see, there's good algae growth on this. Nice, healthy looking rock. Uh, on the bottom here, yeah, it's, but that's normal. So, uh, and there's some like branching stuff and it's got a nice texture. So, uh, let's throw that back in the bucket. Okay, this is the last piece for today. Um, this is not all of the live rock that's going to be in the tank, but, uh, for right now, it is, um, as you guys can see, this has got some really nice coralline algae on it, it's got some nice shell pieces on it, so, uh, this is a nice looking piece, uh, kind of flat here, so, uh, it'll be a nice pot, spot for, uh, a coral or something, and, it's got nice texture, it's a little smooth over here, rough. There's the nice shells and barnacles on it. Oh, that fell off. Uh, <laughs> so, um, that's what it's going on with that. Um, I'm gonna dry my hands and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. Gonna unplug the camera for a second. And um got a garbage bucket full of salt water. Well not full, but uh this is just the leftovers from when I was filling the tank. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse, get any paper off of it. Uh this piece has got some sand on it, I could feel it, so get all that off. And then the other garbage. But, uh, this is just gonna be quick. 
Just cause uh, not much battery left. Just give them a quick little dash in there, get any build up off of it. Uh, one more piece and then I'll hook the camera back up. Uh, this stuff looked pretty good in the store. It didn't look like it had any apostasia or any Mon Mongiano or anything on it. So it should be pretty good in the tank. Uh, 